This tutorial, we're going to talk about merging together multiple raster files into a single raster. In this case, it's going to be four different DEMs that we need to cover our municipality here. And we're going to merge them into a single DEM that we can then run future analysis tools on. Uh, to merge these together, we're going to need our Arc Toolbox, so we'll click on this panel here. We'll also go to Customize and Extensions, make sure all of our extensions are turned on. The tool that we're going to use is Mosaic to New Raster that's found under Data Management, Raster, Raster Dataset, and Mosaic to New Raster. Before we run this tool, we need to know a little bit about the DEMs that we're working with, so we're going to right-click and go to Properties here. Inside, we're going to need to write down a few important pieces like the number of bands. Uh, the cell size is uh, something that we can use, we won't in this case. We we'll also want to know the pixel depth, which is 32-bit. Uh, and the pixel type, which is a floating point. We'll also come down to the coordinate system and uh, note which coordinate system we're using. We're going to input all of this when we do the Mosaic to New Raster tool. We'll click on it here. The first step is to actually start selecting the four DEMs that comprise uh, the area that we're working on. So we've added all those in. Second thing we're going to do is the output location. So this new raster that it's going to create, where do we actually want to put that? Uh, we can set it right in the same uh, folder right here. So we can just go back and say elevation and add, and that'll put it in that location. We need to give it a name, so we'll just give it the name of our community that we're working in. And finally, we're going to add in the pixel type. So remember, it was a 32-bit float, and the number of bands is 1. The cell size is optional, sometimes that's helpful, uh, and you can include that in here. Also select the spatial reference for the raster, we can do that here. Oftentimes it's going to uh, determine that uh, based on what we're using, so we're going to leave that off as well and go ahead and say OK. We'll know that the command is running down here, and it usually takes a little bit of time uh, for this to actually process. It took a couple minutes to create uh, this new uh, raster DEM. So we're going to uncheck our original four and you can see that we've got one uh, composite DEM. We can use this to uh, run some additional analysis on. We'll go to our spatial analyst tools, surface. We can run things like uh, slope, uh, create a hill shade. In this case we'll just run aspect, a very uh, simple piece. Uh, and again we'll determine the, uh, the output. In this case we're going to go back to our Lona um, geo database that we had created earlier. We'll just call this aspect. We'll say OK. This also took a couple minutes to create. We can see if we zoom in, we can see uh, how the aspect is actually reading on here. The advantage of using the mosaic to new raster is that we can just run this command once as opposed to running it across four different DEMs and then potentially merging the results in here.